Hey folks, how's it going? I hope you like that high energy dynamic opener because that's what we'll be creating today, right here in PowerPoint. The first and arguably the most important step to creating a dynamic opener is the script. Make it as short and crisp as possible so the audience understands the story within 30 seconds. Having written the script, break it down by slide. This will help you storyboard the rest of the animation. The other general rule you should keep in mind is continuity. Depending on your script and the length of the video you want, Try to have each word appear at least on two or three slides. Beyond that, it's a simple matter of mostly using the morph transition with a few animations thrown into the mix. Well, now that I've given you the context, let's jump into the tutorial. As always, let's start with a blank presentation and I'll just bring in the script I created for the original video. Then let's go to Format Background and change our background color to black. Let's create a third slide. Let's make sure it's blank. We'll leave the first slide as is, so we have a black transition to begin our animation and we'll actually start on slide number three. So let's bring in the first word that we want to animate and let's set the font and the size. Once you've set your font and placement and you're happy with it, let's add the first opening animation to the font. So we'll go into our animation and go to more entrance effects and add something called the drop animation. So it should look something like this. Let's decrease the duration to about 50. Let's go into effect options Make sure animate text is by letter, so each letter drops down individually. And let's decrease the delay to 20%. And there we go, our first text animation is done. Let's duplicate this slide. And let's delete the animation from the next slide. Let's go to our home tab. Let's go to character spacing and let's say about 50 points and we'll also increase the font size so it's much larger and more spaced out than the previous text. Next we'll add an image to the background so let's go to our image folder copy the image we want and let's paste it onto our slide. Let's go to crop, aspect ratio, and change the image to 16 by 9. We'll fill the slide with this and send it to back. Now, depending on the image and the text, you might want to make the image a little darker. So you can go into corrections and make it darker so the text is a little more readable. Now what I'll do is I'll drag this image so it's just slightly larger than our slide and I'll add the image to the second slide again but this time I'll ensure it fits the boundaries of the slide. So if we switch between the two slides it looks something like this. like a quick jump cut. Next, on our second slide, we'll add two black bars on the top and the bottom. So 
So draw a rectangle, make it black, remove the outline and copy it to the bottom as well. Copy the two rectangles that you've made, paste them onto the original slide but move them out of the boundary. Let's just check that it's done properly. Yes. So now we have these two cuts. Now in transitions for the opening slide, let's give it a zoom in effect. And for the second slide, we'll give it the morph effect. And we'll turn down the duration to about 0.25. Let's take a look. Now one thing I forgot to do was make this animation start with previous. So we start from black, our slide zooms in and it morphs into the second slide. So we're off to a pretty good start. And once again, let's duplicate this slide. Let's go over to the text. And this time we'll add an exit animation for our text. So let's go to more exit effects and add the whip exit. So it should look something like this. Let's decrease the duration to about 0.25. In effect options, let's make sure it's by letter and a 10% delay. And then we'll bring in the second letter from our text which is presents so in order to do that i'll just copy over our original text from slide one bring it down to our current slide i'll change the text maybe increase the character spacing by a little bit place it right over where we want it to appear and in animations Let's again go to more entrance effects and this time give it the basic zoom. And of course change the duration to 0.25 and set both animations to start with previous. And that creates a smooth transition between the original text and the new text. It's a quick cut that will happen. And once again let's go to our background image and increase its size as much as we can. We can even move the image a little lower to keep the subject's face in focus if we want to. And now let's take a look from the top. That looks pretty good. Let's keep going with our second word. We'll open another slide. Copy over presents. We'll increase its size and its character spacing. So it's much bigger than the previous original text. We'll remove our animation from this and we'll add a, image, a different image to the background. So we'll add this one here. Once again, crop it to aspect ratio. We'll also copy over the black bars from the previous slide and push them out of the frame. And let's ensure we have our morph transition set to 0.25. Let's take a look. So the bars disappear and the new image appears. Let's duplicate this slide once again and this time make presents a lot more smaller. Let's take our background image and make it really small and move it to the outside of our slide. And let's give our background a different color. So I'll choose yellow in this case, send it to back change presents to black so it stands out against the yellow move it over to the side a little bit and add 
the second word which is an. And we can adjust the positioning of both the letters. Sorry, of both the words. So let's align them and place them however you feel comfortable with. Now pressing control to select your background and the letter and the word an. Copy them over to the previous slide and slide them out of view. So when we morph it, these elements can move in. Let's ensure we have morph. So it looks something like this. Let's duplicate the slide once again. We can delete the image. This time let's change our background to black and the fonts to yellow. So we're basically inverting the colors. And we can also increase the size of the font once again. You'll have to play around with the placement of the fonts as you increase and decrease the sizes to ensure they fit properly in the slide. And now that that's done, let's move on to our second word, which is awesome. So let's open a new slide. Let's grab, say, Studio 42 text. Bring it over and type in awesome. Let's bring in our two black bars. And first we'll add a background image. As always, we'll adjust the image to 16 by 9 and fill the slide. Once again, in case you find the text to be a little unreadable, you can go into corrections and darken the image. And let's bring the black bars down. For the text, we'll add an entrance animation. From more entrance effects, look for compress. And add that. I'll keep it at about 50 right now. And of course, I'll set it to start with previous. We'll duplicate the awesome slide. We'll drag the image once again, make it smaller and push it outside the slide. And let's grab a colored rectangle and bring it in. Let's change the color to something else. Let's say a green. And this time we need to give awesome an exit effect. So let's go to animations. Let's go to more exit effects and look for something called a basic swivel. There we go. But here we see the entire word is swiveling. So let's go to our effect options, animate text by letter. And a 10% delay should be all right. Direction is horizontal. We'll decrease the duration. So it swivels out like this. And we'll add our next word, which is dynamic. So let's copy awesome and fill in dynamic. And for dynamic, we'll change the animation effect to a simple appear. We'll start it with previous and the same duration as the exit effect. So again, it's a seamless cut between the entrance and exit effects. And we'll grab our colored box, take it to the slide above, and just put it outside the boundaries. We'll ensure we have the morph transition put in. 
let's also ensure our previous slide where we're introducing the word awesome has the morph transition set at 0.25. So quick note on the morph transition. Once you run it through, you might want to change the duration depending on how long you want a word to linger. Right now I'm setting everything at 0.25, but once you run the entire animation through, we can play around with this setting. So let's take a look at the entire animation from presents onwards. And that looks pretty good. Let's duplicate our latest slide. Let's delete the elements that we won't be needing. So we'll delete the image and we can delete the awesome word. Next, let's change the look on our dynamic font. So we'll make it larger and tighter. And this time, instead of a colored background, let's bring in an image. Let's adjust the image to the slide. And let's send it to back. And there we go. We'll quickly remove the animation from the text over here. And we'll duplicate the slide. Let's add the next word, which is opener. So we'll make a copy of dynamic and quickly type in opener. And we'll add the same entrance and exit animations we used over here. So if you want, you can just copy these fonts and bring them over to the new slide. You can drag them up and go to animations. So you want the entrance effect animation painted onto opener and the exit effect animation painted onto dynamic. And then we can delete these unnecessary boxes adjust opener on top of dynamic. So let's play it and see. And it works pretty well. We'll also change the size of our background image. So let's take a look. We'll continue with the opener text. So let's duplicate our current slide. Delete the background image and delete the dynamic text. Let's remove the animation from opener and let's make it smaller with a lot more character spacing. We can go up to 50 and let's add another image. So we'll add this one. I'll quickly adjust the image. And I'll make a duplicate of this slide. I'll then fit the image into the template. And I'll add a colored rectangle. Make the rectangle transparent. So the image is just about visible under it. And we can send it to back. And send the image to back as well. And once again, change the size of opener. So basically, we're creating a bunch of jump cuts between the same text. And this colored box will bring to our previous slide and drag it out of the confines. Let's make sure we have the morph transition on. So it looks something like this. All right, let's keep going. Similar to what we've done previously, I'm going to duplicate the opener slide. I'm going to delete the unnecessary elements. I'll add a new image in. So I'll do this part a little quickly because it's a repeat of what we've already done. Add the next text.
at the same entrance and exit animations in the previous fonts. So that's done. Make sure morph is enabled. Duplicate the slide. Remove animations. Delete the opener text and readjust the tutorial text. And finally, readjust the image. There we go. Let's add a little bit of color to this slide. So make yet another copy of it. Change the font if you want. And the background image also. Make sure it's aligned properly. Let's go over to shapes and draw two circles. Let's fill this one with pink and one with blue. Let's go into format object and give them transparency. Let's make, let's group them and then ensure they're aligned to the center and then we can ungroup them again. And the elements of our slide, the boxes and the fonts, let's right click on them and bring them to front. Let's grab our two circles, copy them, take them over to the previous slide and resize them. And then we can move them out of the boundaries of the slide. So it should look something like this. Let's keep going with the next words. We'll try a slightly different animation technique over here. Let's add our new words from the script, which is reimagine PowerPoint. So we'll just grab some text from above and rewrite it. Let's make it a little smaller, maybe. Let's grab the tutorial word and bring it to the bottom. So when we morph it, it slides out. Then let's duplicate the slide, add the word PowerPoint to it. We'll make it a little tighter and a little bigger. And same with this. Let's move it to the top. And we can delete the word tutorial from this slide. So something like this. Of course, we'll have to copy the word PowerPoint over to the previous slide as well and drag it down. Let's ensure everything is centrally aligned and in this as well. We'll add the morph transition to both these slides and decrease the duration to 0.25. So hopefully it should look something like this. But that's not all that we'll do on this slide. Let's add some exciting color animations to this as well. Let's go over to our shapes and draw a circle. Let's remove its outline and give it any color that we want. Let's go to animations, first give it an appear and then go to add animations and under emphasis let's give it a grow and shrink. So as we can see it slowly grows and shrinks but that's too slow for us. We want it to cover the entire slide. So let's go over to effect options and instead of 150% Let's change this to, say, 1500%. And let's give it a bit of a smooth start and smooth end. 
about a second should be fine and let's decrease the duration to about 25 and set both to play with previous so it quickly fills the slide let's duplicate the circle over we'll make four copies of it in the four corners of the slide and we'll change the colors let's select our text make sure it's in the front so the colors appear behind the text and let's adjust our animation so each color comes after the previous one so after after and after let's see if that works and that looks really cool so let me show you in full screen we have the word tutorial it wipes out reimagine and boom now for our next jump cut we're going to keep the text reimagined powerpoint but we're make, going to make it into powerpoint reimagined so let's duplicate the slide let's delete the colors that we created we can move reimagine down and powerpoint up Let's make both the fonts of an equal size. And let's increase their spacing. So let's increase it by say 40. So from reimagine PowerPoint, we'll go into PowerPoint reimagined. So we need to add a D at the end of this. So let's quickly make another text box and type D into it and let's adjust it along with the rest of reimagine so it's something like this but in order for the D to flow in we'll have to copy it and paste it onto the previous slide as well and move it out of the boundary Next, let's bring in an image. So let's grab this image and paste it here. Adjust it to the slide. And let's bring in our boxes as well. Let's send them all to back. And again, I'll need to add some correction and darken the image. So let's see if this worked. Let's check we have the morph transition on. We have reimagined PowerPoint. And boom, it moves into PowerPoint reimagined. Let's duplicate this slide and add a little color to this. So we'll increase the image. And we can play around with the font sizes if we want to. Having done that, let's grab our transparent pink box from above and add it to the slide. Let's send it to back and we can also bring it over to this slide and move it out of bounds another thing we can do if we want is grab our two black boxes take them to the reimagined powerpoint slide and move them outside the boundaries it'll be a quick transition it might not even be noticeable so it's not imperative that you add these here let's check if we have our transitions and let's take a quick look at it And that worked out quite well. So let's keep going with the next part of our script, which is make it magnificent and make it stylish. So let's grab these words over and bring them onto a new slide. 
we'll copy some of the elements from our previous slide over so the image and the black boxes first let's paste it there let's fit the image in the slide for now then we grab our text let's copy it over and let's slide it up and down then let's grab any text box from above and add make it we'll give this the compress animation that we've used before reduce it to 0.25 and set it to start with previous then let's duplicate this slide we can delete the unnecessary text boxes now and we'll change the image as well so let's grab a different image and quickly adjust it to our slide let's remove the animation from our text box over here let's make another copy of it and let's enter the word magnificent let's slide it over so that now magnificent is in the center and make it has moved out and of course we'll have to take the word magnificent and add it to our previous slide there we go we can delete the unnecessary elements let's ensure we have our morph transition set on the new slides and let's take a quick look to see if that works and that looks pretty nice so let's keep going for our next set of words let's select the last two slides that we've made and duplicate both of them again let's delete all the unnecessary elements from the slide so make it will stay as is and instead of magnificent we have stylish and in the next slide as well and we can delete the image and add a new image to these two slides there we go let's take a quick look all right then we're pretty much almost at the end part of our script all we need to do is add unleash your imagination and dazzle your audience so let's grab this text and bring it down we can create a new slide and add the text just for our reference we'll use the same animation we used on make it so we can just copy that down over here and say unleash we'll use the same black boxes as well so those can continue let's make a copy of this and add the rest of the words we won't be needing any animation on these two text boxes so we can quickly remove those and let's add a background image since the image we're using here is white we can change the color of our text as well so it stands out so it looks something like that and then all we need to do is simply duplicate the slide move the text box up we can remove the animation from it bring in your change its color duplicate it once again 
Now since all three words are not going to fit in the slide properly, we can readjust the font size. And for the third slide in the series, we can again change the background image. Of course, we'll need to ensure that we have the morph transition on all these slides. And let's take a look and see if that works. That looks really nice. And all we need to do is copy the three slides once again, paste them over and change the words. So we'll change Unleash to Dazzle. Your remains as is and Imagination changes to Audience. Can remove the unnecessary text. So we have dazzle your audience and let's quickly change the background image as well. can adjust some of the images to be larger as they change. So there we go. And let's ensure everything has the morph transition. So if we take a look in slide sort of view, this is what we've created. All except the first slide have the morph transition with a duration of 0.25 set on it. And let's take a look from the beginning. One thing we can do is if we want it to run automatically, let's do a control A, select all the slides and instead of on mouse click, set it to run after. So one second is too much. I'll set it at about 0.40 seconds and we'll see if that works. So let's start from slide number one and let it run. And that's it folks, that's how we create this awesome dynamic opener in PowerPoint. I'll be making this file available for download in case you want to practice making this on your own or you can even just simply change the script and the images on what I've given you here and use it as a presentation opener or as a video for any of your projects. I hope you find this content helpful. Hit the like and subscribe buttons to show your love. Once again, thank you for watching and remember to keep on creating.